In this video we're going to look at uploading prototypes to Axia Share where you can share your work by emailing a link. Available under the publish menu, the dialog first requires you to set up an account so you can manage your shared prototypes. Enter your email address and choose a password to create an Axia Share account. You need to agree to terms. It may be worth taking a look at this if you are working for a company or a client. The project name will be the same as the project file name. If you want password protection for your prototype, simply add it here. A nice feature, it will look professional to your clients. Okay, let's publish. You get this loading dialog while it generates. OK, the prototype has been successfully generated. Uh, let's click on this link to open our prototype on the live URL. And there, what we are looking at is the default configuration on a live URL. If you remember from the last lesson, the default is our designer configuration, as we can see from the widget notes. If we want to change that, we can reopen the published dialog where we find more options. We have a drop down here to choose which prototype configuration settings we want to use or from here we can choose to go and adjust our configuration. You're allowed to share up to 1000 prototypes for free on Axshare. You can choose whether to overwrite an existing prototype or create a new one. Uh, what we're seeing here are limited options. You can manage all of your shared prototypes on share.axure.com using the same login that we set up here. The share.axure.com interface offers a much nicer experience for managing a number of shared prototypes. Back to the prototype, uh, and if I can draw your attention to the sitemap, there are some useful new features here, and you can toggle footnotes on and off. You can highlight interactive elements on the screen, really handy for collaborators who are new to the design. You can view the current state of variables at any point in an interaction, a really useful debugging tool for advanced users. You can also provide access to the prototype with specified features switched off using get links. A typical use for this is to provide a link to the prototype with the sitemap switched off. You'll need to do this if you want to view on your mobile device. Choose your options, then copy the URL field. Let's open in a new tab. There we go. You now have a URL that uh, has the sitemap minimized. Last but not least, we can search for a term across our prototype, uh, product1 for example. I can see that being quite useful. And finally, let's look at the Discuss tab. We can add our name. And add the topic. Now we can add comments to this topic. A great way of managing issues at the page level. Next we'll look at creating Word documentation. 